Okay, so here we are. We've got our very sexy looking plane. Oh yeah. Uh, the only thing it's lacking is propellers. So what we're going to do in this video is just model one very simple propeller. It's not going to be accurate. I'm sure if it was a real propeller the plane wouldn't fly, but it'll do for our purposes. And we're going to start with a cube for that. Okay, and we're just going to create just a simple cube. Just like that. That will do like that for our purposes for now. I'm going to rename it and call it Blade. I would guess that's a, a decent name for it. And I'm going to set the um, inputs for it. I need to change the subdivisions. So um, I'm going to have the depth at 2. So that puts a line down the middle. We're going to use that to sharpen the edge of it later. Um, the width needs to be only 2 again because uh, it's quite a simple shape but the height just to give us a definition we need we'll have set at four okay and that's all we've got to do uh, what I'm gonna do now just because it'll get in our way is select the plane and hide it control and H will do that and then I can just work on this bad boy okay so I'm gonna move into my front view just to allow me to be as effective as I can be with this so I'm just gonna do it by eye uh, it's gonna be very simple and if you don't like it then tough okay so um, let's bring some of these in using the scale tool so let's bring that in like that I think I'm gonna leave those two I bring that one in I bring that one in as well and then I think I'll pull these two down like that so I'm creating a very basic sort of propeller shape like that I think that'll do for our purposes maybe a little bit thinner I think that's just fine and dandy so that's my basic shape I'm gonna go back into my perspective view then um, and I'm gonna select edge mode Okay, and just to make this propeller look like it's sharp and would cut through the air, I'm going to select one of these center edges, go to select, and then go select contiguous edges, which will make sure that that edge is selected all the way around. And then again, I just need to scale these up. So I'll start by scaling uniformly, but you can see the top and bottom go much further than the edges do. So I'll just scale until I'm happy with the top and bottom. You don't have to worry too much about the bottom, no one's going to see that and then I'll scale the edges out on their own so that's making that look a lot sharper okay back into object mode select the whole shape and then I just need to make it thinner so it's a bit more propeller like I think that'll do it I think that's still looking a bit fat let's do it like that okay so yeah I'm happy with that and then one final step uh, I'm going to show you how to use a new selection method which is really helpful we're going to use soft select so you need to be back into um, vertex mode for this and just select the vertices at the top these ones here and then what you need to do is double click on your select tool and it will open up the tool settings for it and you're going to turn on soft select at the moment we can only work on the ones we've got selected if we turn on soft select we can have things further down influenced now ideally what I'm looking to have is not have these bottom ones influenced at all but have these four rows have some influence so you can just change the fall off radius to allow that to happen so I want there you go I've just seen that they're now going to be left alone but these four rows are going to have some degree of influence when I rotate so I'm just going to rotate a little bit just to create a bit of a uh, sort of a propellery angle and you can see that if I go a bit further you can see how it's influencing ones further down okay which is exactly what I'm wanting to do so I'll just do it a little bit just a touch it'll be barely noticeable but it'll make a difference okay so that will be enough of that turn soft select off because um, that will get confusing later and then close your tool settings put it into object mode okay we have now created our propeller. We have got a bit of a problem. We can see very sort of strong edges on it. So to sort that out, normals, soften edge, and that's made and ready to go. So in the next step, we'll bring, uh, bring the plane back. We will 
duplicate this four times um, and then we're almost finished.